This is a Saratoga from GMT Games, Battle uh, Volume 1 from the Battles of the American uh, Revolution. Uh, this is another practice game. Um, and I am at the top of turn 8. Top of turn 8 out of a total of 12 turns. And at the bottom of the last turn, bottom of turn 7, the British just now got to within two hexes of the Mill Creek um, earthworks. And on the western side of the line, um, Fraser and the Germans just now got to the middle branch. Um, what happened in the first two turns, the, uh, unfortunately for the British, it was moderate fog, which meant that for turns one and two, there was no strategic movement, which means that now I can see how that really set back um, the British side. Um, and that probably led to the ability of, uh, of Arnold to move forward with a strong force and take out the artillery at Freeman's farm. Um, what else? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this through, but boy, it just really shows me the, uh, significance of basically a few, a few roles, a few decisions, um, can have a huge impact. Um, I'll say something else. It hit me playing this last turn, turn seven. Um, it hit me that the game is very, uh, has very strong chess-like qualities. And what do I mean by that? Because I don't want that to be, I don't want to use that phrase as if it had any type of universal meaning. But I find myself, um, in this practice game and it hit me, it hit me at turn seven. I am looking for. Um, I'm trying to optimize my moves, I'm trying to optimize the routes, even the combats, um, the, the design really, I think, pushes players to, um, find optimized moves. Um, and that, I guess, coupled with it only being 12 turns altogether, um, coupled with the number, I mean, we're only talking about 40 units on the American side, um, for example. So the number of units, um, even the size of the battlefield. So really quickly, we're talking a battlefield of, hang on. So quick scan at the widest point, the battlefield is only about 25 hexes wide. Um, and the battlefield is about, about twice as long north to south. So the scale, scale of units to ground and time, one hour turns, um, coupled with the design, well, the game design, um, definitely makes for, um, encouraging a play style that uh, focuses on looking for optimized moves. So we are at the top of turn eight. So the uh, British roll is zero, uh, plus one for their in army initiative, one. Americans roll a three, plus one for their army initiative uh, for a total of four, no momentum, momentum chit play. So the Americans will have the initiative at the top of turn eight. Well, I probably should have pointed out that uh, at the bottom of turn seven, the last turn, now the British have mo moved to within four hexes of the Mill Creek uh, earthworks. So this releases Gates' um, wing. And so now the Americans get to take advantage of that first, having uh, received the initiative at the top of turn eight. Uh, 